water is good. Right. I, I, is this tap water or is this uh, bottled water? I, uh, nice. I, I don't even care. I, I, I it still has bubbly. Water. His has bubbles. Mine's flat. Oh. This one's Perrier. They know. Oh, Perrier. Perrier. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You want to do the hands? And then I go to Christian as a, as a co-exo. And we look at each other and we say, what are we going to do? <laughs> you know? And I think, you know, um, uh, John talks about the wall and, he, he, and it, it's real and it's real physically and mentally. Um, I really never had a problem with that previous Black Sheep events. Um, I, I seem to always find it to push through the wall. It was never really a big deal for me. But I think that at 8.30 on Saturday night, uh, that was a wall for me. It was a um, huge wall. Yeah, it, it was probably the first time in a very long time that I stood there and I went, <laughs> holy crap, yeah. what, you know, what, I got 30 people, 30 semi-adults and adults waiting for us to make a decision um, on what they're going to experience and I don't really know what to do because I never saw this before. I never saw this location before. I have no intel on it at all. Um, and, you know, honestly, I came close to a panic <laughs> mode. <laughs> How many times but, did we look at each other like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> But I think, I think what pushed, again, the, the, the Black Sheep Milsom events teaches you to push through the wall. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and It still hasn't that. sunk in to me, though. Like, I'm so tired right now. If you're watching my eyes, I'm just trying to kind of off. But, like, tomorrow and the next day, it'll sink in to say, look what we just did. Yeah. Well, the push through was, for me... Uh, was that no one else has seen it before no. either. No. You know, all previous other events have been at an AO that's, that someone has played at before and e either is an expert or thinks they're an expert, okay? And everybody has their opinion <laughs> on what, how to run the tactics to accomplish the objectives. But this event at, at Guernsey, Wyoming, um, the playing field was truly leveled. Um, not a Blank single player in that room had ever seen the AO before. Um, so I think that made it, that almost made it a little bit more fun too. It, and, it, and it was, you know, you know it was it, exciting. It's like, okay, we got to come up with a battle plan fresh. Yeah. And you know, and even all the in guys, the middle are, of the night, yeah, in the yeah. middle of the night, we're already tired. After, after spending hours on a mountain, yeah. the prisoner, this is off. And, <laughs> and we, we, well, we, you, like you said, we looked at each other and we said, oh, what are we going to do? And then all the guys came around, oh, what are we going to do? I said, you know what? I'll tell you what you're going to do as soon as we get there. Let's <laughs> worry about getting there first. Let me get a lay of the land and then, and then we'll figure it out, you know? Yeah, and I think I think we were, and equipment, look yeah. squad leaders, you know, yep. basic basic orders. And, and that was, you know, and that was the best thing. Is that I had re we had really good squad leaders, you know, yeah. uh, you know, and we were we were talking about this is the first event. I mean, it was probably most likely due to the numbers, but the comms were magnificent oh on our end. Do you like comms? I have just like you. I have never had good comms. I have, hey, I have, I have you, spent. I have paying invested. Blood. At least five hundred dollars. I love my hand signals. Com equipment. Valley on me. I, mean, I bought a bunch of you know? <laughs> fire department ICOM radios. They're all crap. But they're not the UV fours or whatever TRs or ICOM F4S. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got I got yeah. the F4 TRs and they suck. They're terrible. I couldn't figure out how to use them. I was like. And I don't have time to learn how to use them because that's like okay. a, a whole new hobby. Look at us. We're going yeah. into the first going we're sitting the around the thing. mission briefing saying, okay, Punch we're not playing at this in. place anymore. <laughs> we're going to go here. And I'm like looking at guys. I'm like, so I got this brand new radio that someone set up for me. And uh, I don't know how to work it. <laughs> he can hear me talk. I can't hear anyone talk to me. And the guy's like, oh, I'll help you. Here you go. Yeah, it works. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I I am just uh, I was so stoked to see you know that all those guys really you know did what we failed to do our first time out, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because <laughs> when they get out to the East Coast, God help us, you know. <laughs> well, I, I think us, I think us being here for for this event really pushed them further than they would have ever been pushed yeah. if someone local was in the roles that we were in or 
in the role of running an event like John had had run this weekend. Um, I, I think they were really trying to impress us, uh, and that that was the push to to get them to hit their wall and then push through it. Um, and I saw that in a lot of the players. I have to, I'd have to agree. Yeah, especially with the with the little guys. I I was absolutely thrilled with. You know the the du dual XO positions. You know, basically, we're mm -hmm. company commanders, but he didn't call us company commanders. He right. called us XOs. So I thought, thank God he put us together. Yeah. Because you did the I'm the I'm the commander handling the radios, dealing with the logistics, moving the pieces around, and I was able to get out there with, in the field with the squad leaders. And I said, look, I'm not here to boss you around. I am here to advise you. This is your battle to fight, and I'm here to advise you. Now, sometimes I ended up taking direct control mm -hmm. because they needed me to take direct control. But a lot of the time I spent letting them make their mistakes, particularly at the very end. Um, one squad was, they were incredibly bunched up. I mean, they were moving <laughs> a, a ten, 10 10 on the side of a Connex and trying to push like that because he couldn't, he had not yet figured out, and I haven't even told him this yet, but he had not yet figured out that squad integrity and fighting as a squad does not mean being arm's reach from all 10 players. Yeah. It means, it means three go over here, three go over here, but we're working on um, surrounding an objective or something like that. He hasn't figured that out yet. I, I, can, I can see it because I've lived it. He, in the next week, month, six months, four, you know, whatever, whatever time frame it takes him to figure it out, he is going to make that mental connection of, I was doing this, and I should be doing this, and I didn't have to tell him. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, or I didn't have to take it from him and show him the right way. I was able to just mentor, and that is... That is it's a gift. It back. It's, so a, it's a gift back to each one of us because I feel the same way. Like we talked. I talked to. I met Justin the week before the game started because mm -hmm. actually there was supposed to be someone else being an XO. He had to back out because of other obligations and stuff. And I sent him a message. And I'm like, "What are we supposed to be doing for this? <laughs> uh, am I only one being nervous?" And he's like, "No, no, I'm the same way." I'm like, "Okay, good, good." And then when the game actually started, I'm like. You said, you guys, your guys, you were the Alpha Squad, we were the Bravo. You guys let your guys own do what you guys want to do. We kind of have the same idea. We're like, we're going to help them move out to the areas, tell them, okay, this objective we want you to go to, this is whatever. Um, Justin got to play a little bit more because he had some of the newer toys. That I, I call them toys because night vision and stuff is a toy. If you don't have it, you're like us. Where's my flashlight? I can see. Oh, I can see. Oh no, I can't see you no more. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and I guys, was the same as Bernie. You guys lighting up over there. Oh, oh, you're looking for the, for those six dudes on top of that ridge. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> we did the All same right. kind of game plan as you guys. Like, he was in the field a lot. My gun broke. I I didn't play until the next morning until the the sponsors. Uh, who was it? The um, um, uh, weapon blender. Yeah, weapon blender. weapon blender. They're like, oh, you broke your gun. I'm like, yeah, I can't play. They're like, here, use ours. Yeah. Okay, I got to go shoot out for. I was old. I rode 30 hours in a car out from Connecticut with these guys. I'm like, yeah, time to go pay them back. You know, busting my chops and stuff. Let's go. Yeah, and and well, like you said, I mean, I I didn't. I mean, I didn't really go out and and play as much as you did. I mean, you were out there for a good bit. I, me and Ross, we ran, we ran a lot of stuff from from the top. We ran and comms. We ran comms constantly. And I would, what I would do is I would go out to where everyone was, you know, and make sure that they were okay, you know, and you know, make sure they had a a, a defensive posture that was going to function for where they were, you know, making sure that they knew the avenues of approach and what to look for, and some of them did. Um, or most of them did. Some of them didn't. Um, so I didn't. For 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 the guys that we had, they were a little more experienced. You know, they've been to a few events, and they had like one group of younger players that you know what they were out to prove themselves. And I and that was one of the reasons why I gave them that that squad of the battle patch because it you know I they came to me at, at four o'clock in the morning 
we're cold, we're tired, we need rest. I said, I said to him, I said, I said, all right, well, if you really want to take a rest break, you can take it in the CP. But I would really like it if you would take it on an objective so that we get points for it. Because the other two went back to the CP, the other two, the other two groups. And I gave them the same option, and they chose to take it in the CP and take themselves out of the game. And, and the Kodiak guys, they, uh, they, as soon as I said that, they kind of looked at each other. We'll do it for you, sir. And I was just like, I was just like, my heart was just like, yes. You know, I was like, I'm so proud of you guys. You know what? You guys are awesome. And then, but, uh, Art was saying, you know, they were all spooning together. You know, <laughs> I went and I went. That's and saw another them. story. I went, oh, I went. Oh, it was, man. Ooh. I went and saw them over there. And I said, you know what? You guys are doing it right. Is that you guys got your, your two security guys, you know, and they were, I mean, they ended up being, huddling in the same general area just, you know, so they get a little body heat. But they had four guys on the on, a, on an old mattress, an old dirty mattress, spooning together. I'm like, that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. I was yeah. about to say, if you didn't say it, I was going to say it. That is a beautiful thing. And it's not beautiful because, oh, they're loyal to me. No, yeah. they they get it. Yeah. They, they, they are, if they're not, if they haven't gotten it, they're starting to get why it is that we do what we do, why it is that we set the goals we set for ourselves, that we take on these challenges, that we invest so much to, to play plastic guns. That's not it. Well, uh, I, you know, I, I might have said it earlier, but I, I, came out, I came out here and John knows me as an honest person, and I, I'll say exactly why I came out here. I love this part of the country, and this this event was an excuse for me to come out. Um, it turned into much more than that. <laughs> okay, it turned into much more than that when he asked me to do the XO raw, and then it turned into more when my uh, teammates, my friends, um, decided that they were going to come also. And then it even became even more valuable to me when I saw the opportunity to bring my son along with us and he was going to come along to just be a photographer um, because he doesn't meet the 18, um, doesn't meet the, the, the rule set of being age 18 years old, age requirement. Um, but after talking to John, and John again knows him very well, and he's very highly respected in our community as a player, um, we we developed the waiver for him to end up playing out here. Um, you know, that's a lot to 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 say about you know what the answer is to why I came out here. But the ultimate answer is that it wasn't just an excuse. The ultimate answer is is that I knew there would be a great experience here. I just knew it. I knew it because um, every Black Sheep Milsim game I have played has been a tremendous experience and a different one every time I play one of his events. And um, and that's that's you know you can't put a price tag on it. You can't put um, you know um, I, I really can't describe it any better than that. I'm I was the same way. Black sheep milsim to me. I mean, I look at it as a hobby and a sport combined. I do so many other different events and sporting. You know, I play different sports. And I heard about Guernsey, and I was like, Wyoming, cool. You know, that's somewhere, you know, I've, I've been through here. I've been up by Mount Rushmore as a kid and stuff. So I was like, that'd be somewhere to take a nice little vacation. You know, that's God's country up here. Yeah. It's hunting season. For me to, to say, yeah, I'm going to do it, 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 my birthday's coming up. I was like, I can see myself. But then, like you said, Black Sheep 6 calls you up on this telephone and says, hey, what you doing here in this, the week of October? I'm like, I don't know, maybe think about playing your game. He's like, why not be an XL for me? And that's an honor to me. You know, when he stepped out, reached out and said, hey, would you like to do this for me? I was like, I, I had to say yes. I can't say no. I mean, I want to go to the game no matter what just to play because I had guys on my squad that's like, let's go. Let's do this. But they all had other commitments and couldn't get the time off of work. To me, it's like, 
I'll call him right now and say, hey, Lurk, I'm not coming. And I may have to do that this week because uh, our trailer's still stuck on the mountainside under four feet of snow. So, uh. and, and for me, you know, it was the same deal. You know, I, I've been doing these, these events for, you know, several years. And uh, I had ta we've been talking about, I had talked about just going. You know, I was trying to get Ben Noji from Polar Star to come out here with me. And we talked about going together, but... Unfortunately, because of commitments to the company and everything, we weren't able to do it. So I'd already been in contact with the major about going. And when he called me, same deal. I, I did with like a 13-year-old girl who just met the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was, I, I looked at it, I kind of took a step back once my mind had kind of slowed down about the whole thing. And I was just like, this is an opportunity to be, and, and I think I said the phrase this weekend, I said, a missionary of Milsim, you know. To, to, to be a part of, you know, the first wave of, of this event it's somewhere f completely foreign, you know, and, and, and to a system that is foreign to this community, mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't pass it up. I said, I, my, my wife saw how excited I was and she said, go. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to take me, just go. My girlfriend said that to <laughs> me and she's like, you better be back for your birthday. <laughs> and my wife's birthday is on Wednesday. My wife That's my birthday. birthday is on Wednesday. So I, that made it even more, you know. You gotta get back, boys. So. Yeah. Well, when, uh, when, when the major called me and, and I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, me and the major are good Friends. I have been to so many of his events. He knows me. He knows my family that plays. He knows my sister Charlotte who plays. It is just, you know, everyone loves the major and the major loves everyone. And, but when he called me, it's a big bump from squad leader oh, huge. To, to XO. I didn't know what yeah. XO meant. I was yeah, like, I what know, is, was is like, that a platoon what am leader? I am I going to have like three, two? <laughs> I thought I would be running comms. Like XO, <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah. like, you know, you got your commanding officer and then the XO sergeant. was like, comms or, or admin, you know, which I, I'm, I'm good at logistics, but not at admin. But anyway, um, I mean, Black Sheep has done so much for me, as I was alluding to earlier, like giving me this outlet for this passion that I have in my life. This is the, just such the perfect outlet for that for me. When he asked something of me, there's no way I could say no. I wouldn't even think of saying no. I don't tie into that. When my brother was getting married two years ago, and he, I, he asked me to be his be best man, I said, when's the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Find out he if said, there's a game on the weekend. <laughs> he, said, he said, June. I was like, it better not be this weekend, because if it is, you're going to force me to make a decision, and you will not like the outcome of this. Oh. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> we're talking best man at my brother's wedding. And I was like, in this, I, I would, I, my family would disown me. <laughs> like I would still be dealing with the fallout. But they, they, they but, welcome me back eventually. Eventually. <laughs> but anyway, to what you said, I came out here to let, cause I, I love the sport so much and I love Milsom so much and Black Sheep Milsom in particular. I want everyone to have this experience. I, I want people to have the great experience that I did, the people that took me under their wing, the events that were put on for me, I, I thought that from my background, maybe I could offer something to these young squad leaders who have never played, in have, a, no have, idea have what never cleared a building into. in their life. And, and just, and I got, I got that, I got so much out of it. I pro, they got so much out of it, I got so much out of it, because I just love everyone having a good time and I mean you know don't want to pat ourselves on the back but we made that game smooth mm. we made that game run and well John made John made it run but John is such a knack for picking picking the right venues the right people the right the guy has vision and so, I'm he's, so he's, gonna, he's gonna make this he's gonna turn this sport Milsim sport into a I'm gonna call it world renowned I'm trying to think of a word and I can't, my mind is dry. Like it's, it's already going to a newer level. 
I never thought of it. I mean, how many of you guys thought we'd be sitting around a white table with water on here, yeah. talking to these guys on camera, thinking, yeah, yeah we're an XO in this game. What's the, you know, yeah, nothing. No, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But it was definitely a great time with you guys. I, yeah. had, I had a lot of fun. And, and you know, who would have thought, you know, pairing the four of us together, we'd never really met each other. I mean, aside from shooting. I knew him. The other end. I mean, I, I, I've shaken hands with you before. I've been through your trailer, you know, at, at Pine Plains before. I, I've never actually met you before. I'm the this low weekend. key guy. Yeah. And you know what? We, we, we all hit it off. You know, we all had a great time together. It, you know, that's 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 the beauty of this. You know, I knew I knew your faces and not your names. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. I like, shot at you once before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you. We were at this building. We were shooting like this. And yeah. Anyway, it's 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 it is delightful.